Boehner says President Obama's budget will destroy jobs with too much taxing, spending and borrowing. Juliana Goldman is at the White House with more on the coming budget battle. Juliana. Carol and Matt, I'm joined here right now at the White House by Jen Psaki, Deputy Communications Director and Deputy Assistant to the President to talk about the budget. Jen, thanks so much for the time today. I want to read you what Erskine Bowles, the head of the President's Deficit Commission, had to say on this budget. He said that the request goes, quote, nowhere near where we will have to go to resolve our finance, our fiscal nightmare. So is the President really walking the walk like he said he is on deficit well, reduction? Well, first, this, this is a tough budget that has a significant down payment on bringing our deficit down. Erskine Bowles is on the Fiscal Commission. He was on the Fiscal Commission. The president himself named because he felt that bringing the deficit down, putting tough choices on the table is what we needed to do. And that's exactly what this budget does. It brings down the deficit by $1.1 trillion in the next 10 years, and it cuts the deficit in half by the end of his first term. And he had to make a number of tough choices as a part of that that even he had a hard time uh, putting forward. Hey, well, hey, the one thing he doesn't do... Oh. Go, yep, go Jen, ahead, I just wanted to ask a question. You know, every economist we have on this program, whether uh, he be mm -hmm. a Democrat or a Republican, says unless you cut entitlement spending, you really don't have this issue covered. And I mean, does the president know that, Jen? And why isn't he willing to be the one to go out and actually do that, to have the courage of his convictions and really do what needs to be done to bring the deficit down? Well, the president agrees. That's why he put the fiscal commission in place. He's talked about addressing Medicare spending. He's talked about strengthening Social Security. But why doesn't and he do it Democrats in this budget? And Republicans together. Well, he he is proposing. Is a number of uh, uh, pieces he proposed in the budget. He has 62 billion dollars in Medicare savings in his budget. He has 78 billion dollars in defense spending. What he thinks we need to do here is bring Democrats and Republicans together to address these problems. He doesn't think we can stick a flag in the sand and say this is what our proposal is. He thinks we need to. He's extending his hand. He wants the Republicans to come with us and jump in the lake together because that's what we need to do to address these problems. And is this an issue we can expect the president to take a leadership role on? I think he, is, he has already spoken about the importance of strengthening Social Security, addressing it for the long term. But let's be clear, this is not a short-term deficit problem. This is an issue we all need to work together for to make sure it's there for generations to come. And on corporate tax reform, that wasn't in this budget. He didn't exactly lay out a specific plan. Um, can we expect that that's going to come soon from the president from this White House? Well, the president has talked about corporate tax reform for several years now, and he has be begun a process. He's put a process in place, led in part by Secretary Tim Geithner. This Friday, uh, Treasury officials will be meeting with some executives from the BRT, and we expect this process to be ongoing. Now, in the past, uh, back in the 80s, it was a multi-year process, so we know that it's going to take some time. Again, it will be a bipartisan process but the president's look forward to doing that. Jen, I want to break in and just ask you about education because the president has said numerous times that we need to win uh, the future by out-educating others. The budget, though, for higher education is cut by about $89 billion over 10 years. To me, it sounds like a mixed mm -hmm. message. How do we achieve the pres president's goal of out-educating yet cutting back mm -hmm. uh, the budget for education? Well, the president does feel that we need to out-educate the rest of the world. This morning, he went to a school in Baltimore where he laid out his budget proposal. But even in the areas where we are investing and in education, we're increasing uh, funding by 11 percent. We still needed to make tough choices. And the Pell Grant uh, funding is a good example of that because we have found in that area that funding it for summer school just doesn't work. And we wanted to keep the levels at where they have been in the past, where the president has proposed they go up to, and that's 5500 dollars for students. We wanted 9 million students to have access, but we had to make some tough choices in order to make that sustainable over the long term. I wonder how much you find that federal funding for education works at all. I mean, we've seen the budget for federal education rise by 140 Infla percent. Inflation mm -hmm. adjusted over the last 30 years. Scores haven't increased. I mean, why don't you go out and really cut some meat out of this budget? Rand Paul has suggested a plan cutting $500 billion this year, and the president's plan doesn't even cut what one one year's budget deficit will be over the next decade. 
Well, education is an area where we didn't feel we could afford to cut. He feels that preparing the next generation through programs like Race to the Top, where we're reforming the system, is the best way to do it. And so we have an, a disagreement on where we need to cut. We all think we need to cut. We have a disagreement about where. Just one last question, Jen. You mentioned the business roundtable meetings this week. Anything else the White House is doing to ease concerns with the business community mm -hmm. that this deficit, this budget might not go far enough in terms of reigning in the deficit? Well, the president has been reaching out to CEOs for the last several months. He will continue to do that. On his way to Oregon on Friday, he's going to be meeting with some tech CEOs in San Francisco. And I expect they'll talk about a number of topics, industries of the future, clean energy investment, uh, perhaps our wireless initiative. But I'm sure they will also discuss deficit spending and what we need to do to bring those down long term. All right, Jen Psaki, Deputy Communications Director, Deputy Assistant to the President, thank you so much for the time today.